I was about six years old when I went on my first official trip. I was going with my father and my grandpa Sinclair up to the North Pole. It was a very glamorous destination. But the best thing about it was that I was going to be spending lots of time with my dad. Because in Ottawa, he just worked so hard. One day, we were in Alert, Canada's northernmost point, a scientific military installation that seemed to consist entirely of low, shed-like buildings and warehouses. Let's be honest, I was six. There were no brothers around to play with. And I was getting a little bored because Dad still, somehow, had a lot of work to do. I remember a frozen, windswept Arctic afternoon when I was bundled up into a jeep and hustled out on a special top secret mission. I figured I was finally going to be let into the reason for the existence of this high security arctic base that was exactly right we drove slowly through and past the buildings all of them very gray and windy and we rounded a corner and came upon a red one we stopped I got out of the jeep and started to crunch across towards the front door. I was told no to the window. So I clambered over the snowbank, was boosted up to the window, rubbed my sleeve against the frosty glass to see inside, and as my eyes adjusted to the gloom, I saw a figure hunched over one of many work tables that seemed very cluttered. He was wearing a red suit with that furry white trim. And that's when I understood just how powerful and wonderful my father was 